Welcome back. It's been a couple days actually since I've talked to you. I've developed a bit of a cold, so please don't mind me. As you can see, I've assembled my pocket. I've got my front attached to my sleeves, to my back, and all the way around. I've attached my waistband, so obviously that the opening is at the front here. And I've got my hood put together. I decided not to go with the stripes. As you can see, I thought it was too busy that way. So I've got my my hood and I've got my pieces here and then here is my 14 inch zipper so the next thing that we're going to do is attach the zipper to the main body of our piece now this is a product called wonder tape you can get it at a quilt shop you can buy it online it's a washable temporary adhesive this is my secret to a perfect zipper so what we're going to do is we take our zipper, <coughs> still assembled, and we're going to run some wonder tape down the side. So we just stick it right here along the edge of our zipper. We're going to do that on both sides. Right up to the top. And then just rip it. And there we go. Wonder tape deployed. Give it a really good press. There are some wonder tapes that you can iron on. Um, this one is actually an iron on one, but it's I find that it's sticky enough that I can just give it a couple good finger presses and it's, it's good enough. So now our zipper is going to go on this way. We're going to start aligning this from the bottom up. Because if your zipper is too long, you're going to want to know where to trim it off from. This is an exact length zipper. This is a 14 inch zipper. And it's going to fit right perfectly in here. So now I'm going to peel off the side that I'm sticking. I'm going to line this where I want it to be at the bottom of my waistband. Then I'm going to just slowly start working my way up here. Now when you get to this spot here where the waistband joins the top of the shirt, you might have to pull it in a little bit, and that's normal. The seam there will want to make it a little bit finicky. And then we just work our way right up the edge. Now the beauty of this wonder tape is that it will in fact wash out the first time you do it. You can use steam -a seam There's a quarter inch wide heat and bond light you can get, but that is permanent. So if you don't get your heat and bond in there perfectly and then you stitch it and then you have it sticking out it's forever going to be sticking out like that that's why i love the wonder tape all right so now we've temporarily got our zipper installed so this now you could fold this back over and you could stitch along here if you'd like i am very particular about my zippers so i usually take a couple of pins and stick them in there anyway because I really want to make sure this sucker is not going anywhere. And I stick them in in the direction that I'm sewing. You just have to be very careful that you don't um, stitch over them. But I really, really, really like to make sure that my seams line up. So especially down here, I make sure I get one that goes right through the join. And then when I do the other side, I will do the exact same thing. So now this sucker is definitely not going anywhere while I stitch. Okay, so I've got my sewing machine all set up and ready to go here. I've loaded it with white thread so that you'll be able to see the contrast against my black zipper. Um, normally you would use matching thread, so normally I would use black. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my needle position. My zipper is going to be fed through from top down. That's the way you should always load a zipper when you're about to sew it. So I'm gonna move my needle as close as I can and I'm still using my A foot here. I'm gonna move it as far as I can to the left. So here we go. You can see, hopefully you can see my needle moving all the way over to the left. And I'm going to put it on a basting stitch. So I'm going to increase my stitch length as big as it will go. I'm going to undo my zipper just so that the zipper head is not in the way. And 
And then we're going to stitch this in place. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now I've just discovered here that my zipper goes a little bit higher than I would like. Now I want to just check to see if that is something that I've done. So we're going to flip this a hair because our seam allowance for the neck is going to come down to here. So we don't want this big huge tooth there. Well, we'll stitch it in and then we'll get it out of the way after. Anyway, so to get started, we're going to line up the edge of our foot with the edge of our teeth. My sewing machine has a needle down button, so I'm going to make sure that that is down. If you don't have that, just make sure that you start with your needle down. You can turn your, your wheel. And now I'm going to baste. I'm gonna keep these teeth as close to the edge of my, of my foot as I can. I stop when I get to my needle, make it straight, now you'll notice that the wonder tape is doing a great job holding my fabric aligned with my zipper. When you get down to your waistband, make sure that your seam allowance is flipped up. Now as I get down to the bottom here, it gets very bulky around the zipper head. So again, make sure your needle is in the lower position. And then you can sometimes, it's sometimes it's difficult, but just move that zipper head right out of the way. And continue on. So there you have it. We have one side of our zipper basted in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side without you, and then we'll meet up again. So I'm going to go ahead now and do my zipper up. So we can see here that um, our waistband lines up here. I'm going to stick a pin there to make sure that when we align it with the other side, it's in the perfect position. You could alternatively just mark that with a chalk pen or something, but I usually just stick a pin in there. We're going to lay this out flat, just like we did before. I'm trying to make sure you can see me. And where our pin is, Got to make sure that we're not catching the wonder tape. We're going to start there. So we're going to peel off our wonder tape, or the backing from our wonder tape. And we take where our pin is, and we line that up first. So I've got that right on the edge there. Hopefully you can see. I've got that lined right up with the edge. And then now I'm going to slowly stick down the end there to make sure that we're at the bottom of our shirt. And then we're going to slowly, the beauty of the Wonder Tape too is that it's repositionable. So if you screw up, you just peel it off and restick. So now we're just gonna stick it up the, the edge here. Hopefully it ends up in the same position as the other side. So we've got that stuck. I'm gonna throw a couple pins in there. I really like pins. Pins are your pals, the more the merrier. I'm 
And then in a second, I'll flip it and do the zipper up to make sure that I'm happy with the position. I'll take this pen out now, put a pen right over that seam, and then one here at the bottom. You don't want to be too close to the edge with your pens. I've put this one a little bit too close to the edge. I hope I've been in frame there. So that you can do your zipper back up. I'm going to need to trim these threads. So I'm just going to do my zipper up to make sure that I'm happy with the positioning of it. And you can see here that my lines are perfectly lined up. So the bottom of my jacket here is aligned. And right here where my um, contrast, my waistband meets my front is also lined up. And at the top here, at the top here actually we're a little bit off by about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. I guess you want to see that. We're off by about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to reposition that. I'm not happy with that. One major difference where I'm going to be attaching this piece now is that, like I said before, you want to always stitch from the top down. That way your zipper doesn't get twisted. Now I know we've got Wonder Tape in there and I've got a boatload of pins, but always stitch from the top down. So I'm going to move my needle position now from all the way left to all the way right. You can see it moving across there. Hopefully you can anyway. So it's all the way over now. And I'm going to feed this through with all the bulk of my material on this side because I, ow, I want to keep the uh, teeth of my zipper right up against the edge of my foot. Now that is the downside of pins. But I'm not bleeding, so we're good. All right, carrying on. Again, I'm going to put my pressure foot down now, needle down, and we're going to move along. I've still got my basting stitch on. And we're just going to take our time and we're going to keep that going this way. We might be done for the day. It looks like my little one just woke up from her nap. And she seems to be a little crusty in that monitor over there. I was hoping to get this up for you today. So again, make sure that your seam allowance or your, yeah, your seam there is flipped up when you stitch over here. And there you go. Now we've got that basted in. I'll zip this up and give you a show. Now the reason too that we baste this first, let me just move this sewing machine out of the way for you. The reason that we baste this is that sometimes if you don't use wonder tape, but anyway, even if you're not happy with your zipper, then you still have an opportunity to pull that basting stitch out. Now remember when I said about if you use the steamer seam, see how my wonder tape is sticking out of it there? That would be forever visible if you were using steam a seam. Anyway, uh, there you go. We're lined up at the bottom here. Can you see that? We're lined at the bottom. We are lined at the waistband. And we're lined at the top. Actually, we're a little bit off at the top still. I must have stretched it. But anyway, I gotta go look after my kid. So we'll meet back here next time. All right, now we're gonna stitch the other side. Now, I know I said that you always stitch from the top to the bottom, but we've basted our zipper in there, so that shouldn't move anymore. We want to make sure that our, um, our stitching is in the exact same position as it was for the other side of the zipper. So you want to make sure you have the same distance from the teeth 
So we're gonna use the same side of the zipper foot. We basted it in, we know our zipper's not gonna go anywhere, we're happy with the position. We're going to set our um, stitch length again. I liked mine to be about 3.2 when I install a zipper. We're going to line up our teeth with the edge of the zipper foot. And I hope you can see, yeah, it looks like you can. Um, needle down. We're gonna stitch back up a little bit to make sure that we're secure. I've done way more reverse stitches there than I needed. Carefully, you don't stitch over your finger. Let's get that thread out of the way. And then again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Go slowly over your bump. Teeth aligned. And then back stitch a little bit, needle up, and we're done. And now our zipper is installed. Hopefully, you can see that. There you go. So now we've got a, an installed zipper. When I come back, we'll do some top stitching and then we'll attach the hood. So now we're going to top stitch our zipper down. I've taken some Wonder Clips and just clipped my um, zipper flat. I didn't press this, I should have, but I just, I didn't. So now we are going to top stitch down the edge here to make sure that our zipper stays flat and doesn't get bunched in when we're trying to do it up. It just looks a lot neater if we do. I've set my needle position to be all the way as far as I can get it to the right and my stitch length is set at 3.5. We're going through several layers of fabric now and the zipper itself so a stitch length of 3.5 is good to prevent um, pop stitches and make a nice top stitch. Now the reason that I've set our um, needle position all the way to the right is we're going to stitch down. We've got these teeth now along the right side of our foot. We're just gonna stitch down keeping our foot as close as possible to the edge of these teeth. And this is just my standard A foot. The reason I'm using my standard A foot now is that we want as much of the feed dogs to be pulling our zipper and our fabric through as possible. So we're going to make sure that we maximize that by using our A foot, which will press down on all of the feed dogs. And we're gonna keep it as close as possible to our teeth. So I'm going to use my up down needle position and then I'm going to slowly st top stitch this down. I am going to back stitch two stitches at the beginning, just to make sure that our top stitch stays in place. And if you find that your fabric is pulling or it starts to get wonky, just lift your pressure foot and then reposition your fabric and put everything back down. If you have a walking foot, a walking foot is definitely ideal for this operation. Otherwise you might find that you're, lifting, you're pausing and lifting your foot a lot. My other sewing machine has a built-in walking foot and that's the one I usually sew on, but most people don't have that. So I'm using this one to show you. <clears throat> so all I'm doing when I um, lift my pressure foot is uh, relieving the pressure that's stretching my fabric.
And now we're up to our waistband here, and this is going to be, or it can be a little tricky. Just make sure that all your seams are laying nice and flat underneath, and go very slowly. The We'll get up close here, and then I'll show you a neat trick. On the back of your foot here, there's a, um, you can't see it, but every machine has it. There's a little button on the back of your A foot. You can push that button and hold it in, and that keeps your foot straight and makes it easier, I'm caught now, to get over those humps. And then you just let go and you're good to go. We're gonna do the same here to get the zipper head out of the way. Lift our pressure foot, pull your zipper head up, put your pressure foot down, and carry on. And it just occurred to me that I'm using light gray thread for my top stitching. And my waistband is black. But you'll be able to see how nice it is anyway. So there you go. We've got some top stitching down the top there and that looks really nice. So now we're going to go into the other side. I don't think you need to watch me do the other side. So I'll join you again when it's time to do the hood. So now it's time for hood assembly. And the first step we're going to take is to find the center back of the, the hoodie. We do that by folding it so that our sleeve seams are aligned. Press this flat and then mark the center back here with a pin. I mean, you can do this however you'd like. You can mark it with a pencil or whatever, but that's how I do it. So we've got our center back marked, and then the center back of our hood is obviously, um, let me zoom out on this for you, is where the seam is. So we're going to take the right sides together, line those pins up, and pin that in place. You can use clips if you'd like. I like to use pins for this part because we're aligning two opposite curves. At the front here, you can take your hood, and now this is how I like to do it. You can do it however you like, but I'm going to be starting this together, and I know that I, have, I need a quarter of an inch in order to be able to serge, so I have a quarter of an inch there. I'm going to line the edge of my hood right up with the edge of my zipper so that when I stitch these together my hood is at the top of my zipper like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start pinning this in place. I'm going to do this on the other side as well. You want to do the edges first and then you ease the rest of it in. Now see, I'm a little bit short on this side. Remember how my um, my fabric was not quite aligned the way I liked it to? This is where it gets into a little bit of trouble. Now I'm gonna do a, a taboo thing and I'm just gonna fudge this a little. I know that I've got enough there that I can still serge it on. So I'm just gonna align this so that I still have the appropriate amount of hood seam allowance. I'm going to line that up there. And then I'm just going to fudge it when I stitch it together. <clears throat> so there. And then now I'm going to just work my way around and pin in place. If I come across an area after I've got most of my pins in that I'm not pleased with how the fabric is sitting, then you can finesse it then, but this feels like it's going to fit nicely as long as I keep my layers aligned and I don't stretch my bodice too much. So there's one side's all pinned in, one side's all pinned in, and then now I'll just go stick a couple pins in the other side. I'm going to take this downstairs and serge it. You won't see me serge it. 
I normally sew in my basement, but the lighting down there is not good for filming. And then here's our last pin. And then now I've got my hood ready to pin, or ready to stitch. So I'll see you shortly.